Okay, I wanted to make a final video in the series. I don't know if this will be the last video I make about the Magna Cut knives, but I got a lot more information. I believe I know what has happened with the Magna Cut still on these bark rivers and why it would take a patina like it has. I had a lot of comments about stuff and I've looked into everything. I think I have it figured out. Got a couple of knives laying on the table here. My old pocket knife, the Puma, and my Dunn that I fixed the other day. Anyway, this is the knife that we're focusing on here. Now I polished that one up. I don't have the other one with me right here, but uh, it had taken a patina even worse than this one, but I polished this one with baking soda and water just to see what happened to it and so far not really much happening on patina i've only cut maybe three or four oranges is the only thing i've done with it but you can see there's a little bit starting right in there so it may take a patina again but what i think has happened uh from what i can tell by all the research i've done now let me back up and just go through the whole thing and I'll try to make it quick and try to make it clear. I called DLT after these knives took a patina. I'd got them from DLT. They told me the Bark River grinds all of their knives on the same belts so that they could get A2 smeared on these knife blades here. They could be metal contamination from an A2 steel or some other non-stainless steel that would go on a stainless blade such as Magna Cut or uh, S35VN or whatever. Now, that seemed a little funny to me, but you know, I went with it and I looked into that a little bit and I saw another case where I believe Spiderco, if I'm not wrong, had uh, mentioned something about a spider co that might have had that happen to it uh, some knife somebody had so that it was possible to do that that that's that's a thing that's possible however uh now they now that's dlt tell me and they suggest that i use flits and i've went over that before and i hadn't done it so far uh something that i was wondering though i i kept having this nagging feeling because I have a lot of Bark River knives and none of my 3V knives, none of them had ever came with any kind of patina that, that came on them from being contaminated with any kind of other steel. They acted like 3V and they kept their shine as long as 3V should and I never had a problem with them. So I was wondering, okay, why is that? I've got eight 3V knives and so if Bark River grinds everything on the same belts, then why did I never get a 3V knife that had any problem? I called Bark River. I finally did go ahead and call them. They told me that flat out that they do not grind all their knives on the same belt. They told me that they make their knives in batches and that if you had a magna cut knife it would be ground with other magna cut knives they make a bunch of knives in the same steel a bunch of them in a batch hundreds or maybe even a thousand knives of the same type same type of steel and that that cross contamination wasn't really a thing at bark river that they didn't really even do that they did tell me that to use flits they never really said an explanation of why they thought Magna Cut would be tarnishing. And I did ask if that had any problems. And the person I talked to, uh, it was not Mike Stewart or Jim Stewart or uh, anybody like that. But the person I talked to seemed to know what they were talking about. And they told me that uh, they had not had any problems with their Magna Cut knives so far any any of the other magna cuts so they offered to make it right bark river said even if i use flits on the knife they suggested i could polish them with flits if i don't want to send them back but if i'm unhappy with it after that 
I can send the knives back and they were uh, good about uh, offering to fix the knives or do whatever they needed to to make it right so I'll give Bark River that and DLT the same way there they've always done good I've had a issue or two over the years where I sent something back to DLT and they always made it right so that's what they both said and, and uh, that's what I found out about that now one thing I will say I did send my knives back and have the ramp removed so I guess there's some remote possibility and I didn't mention that to Bark River but I guess there's some remote possibility that if the ramp removal work was done later on when I sent them back that it could have been done on a belt with A2 on it but I don't think that's the issue with this knife and I'll tell you why just move some of these knives around in here just for you to look at okay the reason I don't think that's the problem okay let, let's go over the switch steel theory because some people had said well Bark River's known for switching steel and I've covered that in another video of why I didn't think that was the problem uh, it's because this knife was never made in A2 or, or any steel like that before that would tarnish to that level uh, the, the time I've found one case that I know of where Bark River had inadvertently labeled something wrong uh, maybe there's other cases people know of but I know of one case and I pointed that one out before it was the JS6 with the uh, CPM 154 and it was A2 is what it really was and it got mixed in they were making the knives at the same time or like one right after the other so that was a possibility this has never been made in A2 so it was not even possible other than if they just made a knife and just label it magna cut and I've already pointed out before if they were going to do that they could just get cheap AEBL or like 440C or some kind of cheap stainless and just say it's magna cut if they wanted to get away with something like that and at least it wouldn't rust and, and key the people in immediately so I don't think they did that uh, it wouldn't even make sense in this case so uh, people commented and one of my commenters said hey there's a problem with the magna cut and survive knives and they tuned me into this video i went and watched the video and sure enough survive knives that had a whole run of magna cut at the same time frame that bark river got their magna cut for these knives and I believe they both use the same heat treater. I think they both use Peter's heat treating from what I can tell. Now, Survive Knives, according to their video, they had a run of knives and they even showed the blanks that something had been done wrong at the heat treaters in the stress relieving process. Somewhere in the stress relieving process they had done something wrong and it caused decarbonization or they were using the word decarburization kind of inter interchangeably there but anyway I'm going to say decarbonization and what had happened is their blanks come back and all over the blanks was black carbon on there and they had to grind their knives thinner and put coatings on them and stuff because they had had that black carbon on the outside of them and they already had their knives at the full thickness when they took them in there. Well, my Bark River knives came back with, no, with none of that on them when they came to me. And also for Survive, their knives, some of them were warped real bad to where they couldn't even hardly use them. Well, the Bark River knives are not warped either. So anyway, Survive looked into it and they figured out that and got the steel tested and everything and figured out that the steel below that decarbonization, that thin layer of decarbonization, that it was good. It was 
treat, heat treated right and it was fine. It was magna cut and it was good. It's just they had to alter their designs a little bit and alter the knives some to make it work out. But the steel was still good and they ended up coating some of theirs and uh, it, you know it's a whole deal. Well, so that was that and that got me to thinking, hey, was that the same issue with the Bark Rivers? Well then, somebody else in the comments keyed me into a Laren Thomas video. Now Laren Thomas, as everybody probably knows, is the one that invented Magna Cut. So he has a video called, What is the Best Hardness for Magna Cut? It's labeled something like that, the video is. So he says flat out in that video that cor corrosion resistance can be significantly reduced by tempering wrong. So when they go to the tempering cycle to temper knives, if it's done wrong, chromium can be pulled out of solution. And that then these stainless knives could be way less stainless. And he showed a Vanax blade uh, the, he showed Van X that was heat treated right and of course it's very stainless and then he showed a Van X that had been tempered wrong in some of the heat treating process and it had rust on it now these Bark Rivers have no rust on them they're just getting some patina and stuff so uh, anyway not actual rust but the point is that Laren Thomas points out that in the heat treating process, if it's tempered wrong, that it can cause the knife to be less stainless. Now, I know Survive said that theirs was decarbonized in a stress relieving cycle or something, but tempering and stress relieving are similar. What you, they do is heat the steels, and with tempering, they heat the steel so that it, it gets to the right hardness that they want. But with stress relieving, they heat the steel to get out any kind of stress points in the knife. But the point is, that I'm making is that both of them use temperature, different temperatures, and they heat the steel back up to do those processes. And Larry and Thomas have pointed out that if you did that wrong with a steel, and he, this was in a Magna Cut video, but any, any steel, that a stainless steel, if that's done wrong, it could cause it to be less stainless. It could affect that. So, what I think that happened with this is, just to put it all in perspective, is that I think that in the heat treating process, with the Bark River knives that something was done that caused them to be less stainless than what normally a Magna Cut knife would be and it caused it to be able to take this patina. So based on all of what I pointed out, I believe that's what happened. I believe the stainlessness of these Magna Cut knives were affected by some process that was done at Peter's heat treat. Now I'm saying Peter's because I know that's the one that Survive uses and from everything I've heard, that's the one Bark River uses. But even if they use somebody else, I still think that's what happened. I don't believe it's DLT's fault and I think they would make it right to me. I don't think it's Bark River's fault and they've offered to make it right to me. But I think it was a heat treating issue. These knives, I believe, are heat treated good as far as functioning, as far as staying sharp and sharpening up good and everything. So I like the knives. I'm not going to send them back. I've used them enough already to see that they're holding the edge really good and they sharpen really good. I like the way they're performing. The only issue was just taking a patina. So I'm going to keep the knives, but I will say this, I'm not somebody that runs out and buys the latest steel. And I bought this Magna Cut a little bit quicker than I normally would run out and buy a new thing. I usually wait a while, 
when even when 3v was first kind of coming out i waited a long time before i would get a 3v knife and i got one to try it and all that and and kind of got won over by 3v performance but for a long time i wouldn't get a 3v knife because i felt like oh that's too new it's not been proven so this was not my normal way to go buy this magna cut knife and try some new steel and I think that the steel is new enough that just proves out my point and why that my way is a good idea a lot of the time I know somebody's got to get this new stuff and try it out but I think that Magna Cut even though it's been out a while it seems like there's some issues with heat treating it and you can get different performance and that's not all been completely dialed in like 3v has or a2 or some of the other steels so that's my final comments on the magna cut issue i'm not saying i'll never show this knife again and new information could come to me something else could come out somebody could comment and give me some other information but that's what i believe happened and that's what I'm going to do about the knives. All right, there you have it. 